whenever I go back to rewatch my four part review of Tag and the Power Juju TV series that I made six years ago, even if I was new at the time, it also sh it also shows that I didn't care about Tag's friend or love interest, Jira, because the fact that Jira only appears in the TV series and it's difficult to remember her knowing full well that this show only lasted one season. I think it sums up onto why the shipping between Tag and Jira doesn't work, especially since that Jira acts similar to Cindy from Jimmy Neutron and the fact that this episode is just a walled down version of the Jimmy Neutron episode well. Jimmy and his friends use love potions in order to get what they want from the female characters. And since I stated the plot already, you can really tell what the entire episode is going to be like if you ever watched a single episode from, the, from this show. Because when Tack tries to make a love potion and he ends up drinking it instead of Jira, the majority of the episode really feels like a really, really watered down version of the Jimmy Neutron episode's Love Potion. Because considering that Tack is being portrayed differently than he was in the video games, then it's really hard to take the comedy seriously. Like, it's one thing to make comedy of a person doing things that a girl wouldn't expect them to do, but it's done with the wrong characters in a franchise that exists in 2003. This episode came out in 2008 around Valentine's Day, and in all honesty, even this show, even in this show's way of celebrating its own version of Valentine's Day, doesn't work at all. The Chief wants everyone in the Pupuno village to be in love with each other, otherwise the love juju will take away his stomach. Not brutally, but to a point where the Chief won't be able to eat anything. That's literally it. The fact that this show's version of Valentine's Day is lackluster just makes me convinced of how Locke having a crush on a Gramazon in the third game made much more sense than anything in this episode, and that was taken as a joke. You know, when your character doesn't do much other than just giving people consequences for not doing the simplest things, makes me convinced that the design of Love Juju just got a lot less interesting and a lot less on the original, knowing full well that it's difficult to really think that the Jujus in the show don't do much compared to how they do in the video games. But if I really need to discuss the lessons of love in this episode of what it should have done right, then I would have been a lawyer of love, basically. So, after Tag accidentally drinks the potion, the majority of the episode is him being obsessed, and Jiro needs to find an antidote in order to turn Tag back to normal. Usually, I would feel bad for Jiro in this episode since that she's being stalked by Tack, but at the same time, it's hard to take her character seriously considering that for the majority of the episode, she never has any feelings towards Tack when it comes to romance. And in all honesty, if this show did continue, I'm going to assume it would have been a bad version of Jimmy and Cindy being together, knowing full well that if Jimmy Neutron had a fourth season, I'm going to convince it would have been much more better, and I'm pretty sure it would have overshadowed Tack and Jira. Here's the thing, if Tack acted the same way he was in the games, especially since that he would have an understanding of how serious a predicament would have been, then I'm starting to convince that the romance would have been a lot more better. Like, if you kept Jira the same character as she was, then I'm pretty sure that the pairing between her and Tag would actually work. But considering that Nickelodeon is trying to make this the next Spongebob, and what I mean by that, making every single character as Spongebob and trying so hard to make this show successful, it really shows that they, ju they just have no faith into making this show 
similar to the video games by making the characters the same as they were in the video games. Seriously, even if you have a character being a sheep, which is a reference to the video games, or attack writing a rhino, it isn't enough to fix the characters that you waddle down or dumb down in this case. Because every time I think about this episode or the other episodes, all I can think of is this is just basically SpongeBob but with tack characters into it. Literally nothing. Which is why I cannot take the relationship seriously between Tack and Jira. The fact that they're willing to make this relationship work with the characters that they're using just makes me convinced that they just had no plans of this whole Tack and Jira relationship. And the fact that Lincoln and Ryan shipping is a better ship than this really says a lot of how forgettable this show is. Like, it's impossible to think that Jiro will ever be with Tack completely for how they're betrayed. And the fact that the ending tries so hard to make us convinced that Jiro actually, actually cares for Tack even though that she is just lying for the sake of saving him and everyone in the Pupunua village from Love Juju just goes to show that everything in this episode has terrible builds up with terrible relationships and terrible character development. I will admit that this episode isn't as bad compared to the other episodes I'm gonna be tackling in Cartoon Crisis 3, but if you're curious of Jira since that she's only exclusive to the TV show and this is your first time seeing her when it comes to her relationship with Tack, don't get your hopes up because this ship isn't for you. I'm giving this episode a 3.5 out of 10.